watched the headlines this morning, the western Ukrainian city of Lviv has come under Russian missile attack. In this video, I'm fly fishing from my kayak at Wimbledon Lake, which is nestled in the beautiful and peaceful setting of Exmoor National Park. It's my first proper fishing trip with the kayak this year and I'm joining my fishing buddy Ian. The venue has gained a reputation for fish that really pull and that's no exaggeration. I teach people to fish for a living and separate work from play by making my own fishing a little bit different and difficult for myself. On my first visit I just wanted to catch a fish on a dry fly that I've tied myself. Then it was a case of wanting to catch on traditional wet flies, a technique I hadn't done before. And on my third trip, I just desperately wanted to catch one of the wild brown trout using natural nymph patterns. Oh, oh, stay on buddy. It keeps my fishing interesting stay having on. these little challenges and it was all going really well until my very last visit. I met up with blogger and angling journalist Dominic Garnett. My aim was to just catch on teams of buzzers, washing line style, but I caught nothing. And I had to watch on as Dominic caught fish after fish after fish on his Kennick killer fly. Despite my terrible netting efforts. A link to Dominic's blog is in the description. Fly fishing idiot. Last time I was there, I blanked, and today I've overslept by an hour. I'm going to try uh, try and catch a trout today using a, a, a fly that my kids have made. I meet up with Ian and get onto the water to find him playing with his new toy, the Hobie Lynx. And on top of that, he's attached an anchor pole. Might be handy. Once we're all set up to go, we head down to Bessem's Bridge. On this occasion, I decide to take my six weight floating line with the single aim of trying to catch a trout from the flies tied by my children. There's very few places that I can fish at where you don't hear traffic or aeroplanes or people. I think that's why I love it here so much. So the first fly to go on is going to be youngest first. I'm going to put phrases on. Hmm, not sure what it looks like. I'm going to try and fish it like a lure, I think. Like a reverse Montana, isn't it? Back at the front, green at the back. The challenges of fly fishing from the kayak is that for one, you're sat down while stood up. And secondly, the kayak's quite light and can spin round in even the lightest of breezes. On previous trips, I've tried to take other rods with other lines on. The problem with that is that it can quite often get in the way when you're trying to adjust your positioning mid-cast. So it really pays off just taking the one rod. I'm using a six weight rod with a floating line. And to start off with, I've added a six foot sinking tip and I'm fishing in about 10 foot of water. After about half an hour of trying, without any signs of fish, I finally see a fish rise. So I decide to take off the sink tip and cover it. It took me a while, but I finally hooked one on Fraser's fly. It's a nice fish. These fish are so strong, as you can see, it's spinning my kayak around to 360 degrees. I'm sure he'll see it fashion in the water. How cool is that, catching on Fraser's fly? Well done, son. Six-year-old's fly. Not a lot of help. Make us that lockdown time with him. So precious. Yeah, metal bits got to go underneath, all the way around, yeah. under. That's it, good boy. Let's go fishing. Should we actually? I think we should. The goldfish.
I actually thought I was going to blank today. I don't know why. I'm going to dispatch it first. It's only right. He's dead. There's the fly in his mouth. The size of that mouth. And there's Fraser's fly. Steen looking fish actually. You have to hand it to Mark Underhill and his team because that is lush. Look at that. Let's see if I can get another. On flows fly this time. She chose all the components. Got a dumbbell on the front, a couple of J wings, and some hen hackle around the front. Quite sure what it's meant to imitate, but it looks cool. Sort of slightly, slightly sh um, sad to get it slimy or ruined by fish teeth, but I think she'd be pleased if I caught on it. Right, I imagine this is going to sink like a brick. Yeah, sinking like a brick, so it's going to be stripped back really quick. funny some of the commotion can bring them in especially the stockies that are used to food fights when the pellets go in they're quite inquisitive you won't see it because of the surface reflection but the water clarity at Wimble Ball is extraordinary and after a while I spot one or two fish is he going to come back for it? Followed it right up to the rod tip, saw me, and then turned. <laughs> I got a bit excited. Yeah. Did you get it on the, uh, the homemade fly? On the Fraser fly, yeah. I was, I was, I was hauling, and I hauled the reel instead of the line. How you got on? Another one uh, that took the booby, and then I got bored and I switched to uh, nymph. No. I'm stalking them over here. Sorry? You could stalk them over here. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah it's quite cold over that other side. I thought, oh, I yeah, I thought, I did one. think, what on earth were you doing all the way over there Sorry, in the wind? On Flo's fly, what a result. Sorry Flo, this one's smaller. Not only did I lose the fish, but the fly got destroyed as well. So we headed off to the Upton Arm, right at the other end of the reservoir, to see if we could find some brown trout. I'm just coming up to join Ian because I think he's got a brown trout on. He's certainly playing it more gingerly than if he would a rainbow, I reckon. Have you seen it yet, Ian? It's strapping like a brownie, isn't it? Is it a rainbow? No, it's brownie. It's like a bed in your rod, isn't it? Is he in the net? Yeah. Cool. Well done. Watch that tree, you're right next to it. Oh yeah. That's a cracker. 
It's all right, isn't it? It's yeah. raining. Yeah, it's wicked. I'm well gel, mate, well gel. Well. Then there's a gust of wind, and this happens. Oh. Sorry, you know, all help is abandoned. <laughs> Get your pole down. Deploying the, deploying the pole. So if you want to see Ian's fish, you'll have to check out his YouTube channel. Right, no fanning around with cameras. I'm absolutely certain this is a brown trout. He will not let up. It is a rainbow. <laughs> That. It fought so much harder than the last one, but it's um, about two thirds of the size, probably half the size even. Would you care for a picture? <laughs> I tell you what, he's not dead, he's just faking it. Wow, it's my knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Kneecap now. It's like yeah. the butcher of Seville. It's a crap. I think he's dead, Charlie. You reckon? <laughs> it's a crap. Um, it's a crap priest. Right, you ready for your picture, sir? Yes. Thanks very much. It's all right. Absolutely convinced that was brown. It just it was giving such a good account of itself. What was that on, Charlie? That was on a gold ribbed hairs here. When I wasn't, I was, um, it was static, wasn't it? I was drifting around to take a photo of your brownie. So after all that, it turned out to be a rainbow. About half the size, probably, of the last one I caught, but it fought about three times stronger. Up to Narm is normally a very sheltered part of the reservoir, but when there's an easterly wind like there was on this day, it really blows through. So I set up my drogue and did a steady drift, which allowed me to fish the nymph along the bottom very slowly. With the pedal fins, drove and the rudder as a potential snag, I'm bullying this fish quite hard. I'm staying deep. He's gone. I won't pretend that I wasn't disappointed when I lost that fish, but I was on a two fish limit ticket and it was due to be released anyway. Sounds like you're fanning around with a camera. Yeah, and I saw it right, he chucked one to it. Such good fun on It's a nice fish. Isn't it? it is a good fish. Yeah. Doesn't want to know, does he? No. My arm's aching, I know that much. It's good to strengthen the wrist. Is that a rainbow? 
Yeah. It's not a brain, but it's got funny markings for a rainbow. Well done. Are you bashing this one? Can I get it on camera? Has <laughs> it uh, got anything in its stomach? Uh, it just had tiny little buzzes, but not a lot. You should use spooning as a tag word in your videos because it has spooning. sexual connotations. <laughs> When I did a video on whips, I got loads and loads of uh, interest. <laughs> yeah, the it's wrong really kind of funny. Interest. Exactly, yeah. Well done. Is that on your cove? Yeah, it was on the cove, yeah. And that was that. A lovely day out. And if you subscribe, you're supporting what Fisheries does with young people and disadvantaged anglers. Is that what I caught? Where's this heart? It's just there. See it? A little purple dot there. Try some trout.